Hi, I'm Mrs. Lampin, and I'm an art teacher here at East Grand Rapids Middle School. I've been teaching art for over 22 years, and it's the best job I ever had. Here I am in 8th grade, and as you can see, it must have been somewhere in the 1980s. Look at that hair. And um, I wanted to share this picture with you just because we all go through these kind of awkward, funny phases. And um, here I am in middle school, just like you guys are now. So I always had a passion for art and wanted to study uh, painting, sculpture, and art history. So I went to Rhode Island School of Design, where I did all of that. Um, that's a picture of my painting studio up above. And see if you can find the two paintings that I made in this gallery. If you guess the dog and the cupcake picture, you are correct. So um, after getting my degree in painting, I started to think, hmm, I'm going to be a little bit lonely in my studio. What could I do that might bring a few more people around? So I thought, hey, I've always loved helping others grow. As you can see, I'm watering my baby sister in that picture. And I thought I would really love to spend more time with kids. and teaching people how to make art. So I went back to school to get my master's in art education. This was my first classroom and we're tie-dyeing, I think, if I can remember right. This was in Providence, Rhode Island, and um, I really found that I loved being around people and creating art and helping kids find their passion as well. So um, this is when my teaching career started. Soon I moved back to East Grand Rapids, um, and I really um, liked being back and around family, and um, I started teaching at East Grand Rapids High School, and then Wealthy Lakeside in Breton, and now at the middle school. Here's how my class usually looks. Pretty busy place. Most of you guys remember it. And um, it's going to look a little bit different this year, but I think we'll still be quite busy making art. Some of you will be making it at home, and some of you will be right here in this very space. Here are a few projects that um, we have done in the past. I love to help kids create large works of art that are seen around the community. I think it helps enrich everybody's lives and gets us all to participate together. Um, that Katy Perry picture made with bubblegum you would not believe this, but we had to chew 30,000 gumballs to create that portrait. Here's how I spend the um, summer and some of the quarantine period. I drag my kids to art museums. You can see Porter and Maddie um, and I in front of a Monet painting. Uh, most of the time we're hanging out with cousins at my mom's pool in the summer. It's been a nice hot summer, so we were able to do that a lot. Um, like you, um, we had a few window visits with my um, family members during the quarantine. This is us visiting my grandmother with our dog George. And we also do a lot of art at home. I have a room um, just dedicated to my studio space. And in the garage we usually have pottery going on. So you can see Maddie sitting there at the pottery wheel. And here I am getting our classroom ready for this year. I think it's going to be a great year. We're all going to hang tight and work together to keep everyone safe, but also um, make sure that we take some chances with our creativity and produce some awesome art this year. I'm happy to be back with you guys. I missed you a lot, and I can't wait to get started on some new art. 